Moses was loyal to God throughout, but Aaron rebelled. The priesthood rebelled. So this priesthood was not loyal. And look at this. In many days, they have seen Moses as walking with God. Anybody who took that seat of priesthood from Aaron, or they worked together, there was a fight. Dathan, Korah, look at all those things that was happening. Moses was defending Aaron because they wanted to take away, to take away priesthood from him. To take him out of the priesthood. Several times, Moses intervened. But Aaron was not loyal to Moses. Look at what happened. They started discussing Moses uh, together with uh, Miriam. And they started talking about the wife of Moses. How black she was. And how she was not supposed to be married by Moses. And what happened? God hand them. Moses did not hear. God hand. And God asked, do you see what they are saying? I am going to banish them. Miriam was punished. You know that. For one week, she was staying out of the camp. Because she desired people to be white. God made her whiter than white. So that she hated to be white. Leprosy was all over her. And she stand out. Haran, because she was, he was wearing still the priestly garment. He could not be touched. So God waited for him. For the time to come. For the garment to be removed out of him. By the appointing authority. Who appointed him a priest? Moses, because he was supposed to be there to help him. So he was not faithful to Moses. So Moses removed the garment out of him at the mountain. And what happened? Death struck him. So all that priesthood initiated by Aaron in that version was a fought uh, a priesthood. And we have it even today. It's a spirit. Priesthood is a spirit. We have it. There are people who can never be loyal to the appointing authority. You stand at a pastor for a few days. You walked out to begin your own church. You find fault in whatever he was doing. And you began to attack him. Aaronic or a Levitical priesthood. And many churches... And been built in that line of Aaronic or Levitical priesthood. A priesthood that can never be faithful to the appointing authority. They can never be faithful to the house of God. Because in their nature, in their DNA, there is nothing like faithfulness. They have a seed of discord. They have a seed of rebellion. They can never re uh, obey. They can never submit. That is, goes to everything, not only the church. Go to the place. People are appointed by people to be leaders. They rebel. They plan now to remove them. You are chosen by somebody to be his associate or assistant. You want to take that power that he is controlling. You want to kick them out. And these things are going on. Even to the marriages, people are not faithful. Your loyal friends are not faithful because they are under ironic priesthood. And they rebel. I said everything is under the influence of a priesthood. So you see, people who talk against their pastor, they talk every discussion is about pastor. Discussion is about church. As the church. Rebelling against the church. Rebelling against the man of God. Talking evil about your pastor. Calling evil against the man of God. That is ironic priesthood. There are people when they open their mouth, they don't have anything else to say. My pastor used to be like my pastor. If you meet yourself, you are always discussing against 
the man of God. And every time you open your mouth is to discuss his ministry, discuss his family, discuss his fault. This is because you can never be faithful. Some are not faithful to people who prayed for them. People who made you what you are. People who have nurtured you from nothing. Some pastors have fed you, giving you food, giving you food from the offering that I give in the church. They have taken even money from their pockets. Some clothing, even some people. Some even giving people money to start business. But when you rise up, you rise with their names. Some people have made you, educated you, taken care of you, made you to be what you are. When you see what you want in life, you react against them. Some people collected you from nowhere, introduced you to the system. They told you how it can work, how it operates. Now when you realize you have seen the way, you see them like nothing and you rebel and plan against them. It is because of ironic priesthood. It is working. It is demonstrated in the place of work. It is demonstrated in families. You pick a girl from nowhere. You bring her into your house, feed her, teach her how to dress, teach her many things. She wants to take your husband. It is the priesthood that is always against what has appointed it. It can never be faithful to the appointing authority. You give somebody a chance, he wants to take you out. You give them a, a, a place, they walk down to, to remove you. They feel they are better than you. Harun never knew who is God until he was told by Moses. All the miracles that happened in Israel, in the land of Egypt, they were not performed by Moses. He, when he was coming out for the Pharaoh to release all the ten plagues, who did it? Harun. Moses was just directing. He gave Harun the road. He gave Harun instruction. So all these things happened and Harun thought, Hey, I am the one doing it. Aaron forgot when he observed the battle. Joshua is in the field fighting. Moses is just lifting up hands. Aaron and Hul are observers. Now they remember or they discover when Moses is lifting up hands, Joshua is winning. When hands goes down, Joshua is losing. So what did they do? They supported the hands of Moses and they looked for a way to make, to make those uh, hands up. Let me tell you, if priesthood goes down, you also go down. If the priesthood goes down, that's why they say uh, strike a shepherd, scatter the flock. So most of the battles, they are directed to the priesthood. Because when priesthood now is attacked and destroyed, then people can easily scatter, can easily be destroyed. When God wants to make people fat and grow, he will do a very simple thing, satiate the heart of the priests with fatness. So when the priests are satiated with fatness, the people of God are satisfied with his goodness. So, Haron represents, or Aaronic priesthood, or Levitical priesthood, represents a kind of priesthood that can never be submissive. The kind of priesthood that is never faithful to the appointing authority. It becomes disloyal. In that matter, where you are put to serve, you must rebel. It doesn't matter. There are some people, their nature is like that. Their nature is rebellious. They cannot stay one place and be faithful until the end. Uh-uh. They must rebel. They must rebel. And the funny thing is when they rebel, they attract people who are like them. So whatever they will go, whatever they will ever be, they will attract rebellion. So they saw rebellion, they reap rebellion. They saw unfaithfulness, they reap unfaithfulness. So these are things that are happening when you are under priesthood. The reason why some married people can never be loyal to their wives or to their husband is the priesthood. 
there's some priesthood and the others you connected to, you can never be loyal. Because the nature of that priesthood is to rebel. Something comes to you, you feel like. You feel like you're rebelling. And you feel unfulfilled until you rebel. When you ask why Harun was rebelling, you cannot have answers. What was he not given, you cannot tell. But he rebelled anyway. It was not faithful. It was not true to the household. Jesus was faithful. Moses was faithful. But a part of Moses, that was supposed to be named. If Moses accepted the whole call, we would not have a need for another covenant. It would have ended like that. Things would have changed like that. Jesus would have just come to affirm it and say, this is what I want. We will not have it something like new and old. That's why Jesus came. He came again to the order of what? Melchizedek. The, so that things can go where they were from the beginning. I pray that God will remove you from the wrong priesthood. Some of us are brought up with the wrong priesthood, have been breeded in the wrong priesthood. That is why you feel like rebelling. You don't hold authority. You don't submit. You think submission is foolishness. You think respect for those who are in authority than you is foolishness. You think humbling yourself to your masters and to the people who have been elevated above you by God is foolishness. You think that serving other loyal with a loyal heart is foolishness because priesthood tells you you are foolish. When you are remaining like this, you are foolish. You are foolish. You have seen many friends talk. They say, we, 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 I allowed my friend to know my family. I allowed my friend to know my, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my, fa my, my husband. And we gave them freedom. But my friend did this. They cannot keep what is yours. Hopefully. Because their nature, priesthood is in the spirit. It causes them to move in the right in the wrong direction. So when you look at the Aaronic priesthood, it is not a priesthood that is lasting. It breaks. It dies. So anything under priesthood, a Levitical priesthood, is not everlasting. Most of the families you see they divorce. Separation and divorces are caused by Aaronic priesthood. It's business. You build it, you go very high, you collapse. Because priesthood is not everlasting. It is a breaking priesthood. Ministry go very high, they finish. Ministers start very strong. You see them powerful, but they don't finish well. You don't see them, they don't see the end. Because the priesthood is not everlasting. It has fought. And when you follow history, anyone who was a subject to ironic priesthood did not finish well. It doesn't matter how great they are. Even the people you call great. Gideon, who was also subject to that because he stayed there. The, the last one to be moved out of that priesthood and God changed and did things. It was Eli. And Eli did not finish well. And then God came now and changed and did something very different. When Eli was told the priesthood would be moved out of, the house, out of his house, from there, shifting began. God said, I vowed. He did not speak about Eli. He spoke about Levitical priesthood. Because it was not loyal. He said, I will remove it. And remove it out of your house. I vowed, you shall serve me forever. But now far be it from me. Because you cannot honor. So from there, shifting began. Those who served from Eli... On once, they served on temporarily basis as they handed over to perfection. So they started moving from that place until now the order of Melchizedek was installed when Jesus came and died on the cross. Now, I want you to understand now, anything that is based on Aaronic or a Levitical priesthood dies. It does not live. If you are in a leadership that is under that priesthood, it will cease. If you are in marriage in that kind of a priesthood, it will cease. If you are in anything that is under that priesthood, it will come to an end. That's why it's disappointment, because it is not everlasting. See, all the people who served after that, see them, all of them, who served 
They never finished well. People like Gideon, look at the hand. He did not finish well. People like Samuel himself, he did not finish well. Look at all of them. David himself, he did not finish well. Solomon himself, he did not finish well. Look at them. All of them, they did not finish. The finishing was a problem. The finishing was a problem. They were not finishing. But look, when Jesus came, introduction done. Jesus said, it is finished. Finishes it well. Then Paul said, I have run the race. I have completed and I have kept faith. The end is strong. Because the, mat, the thing is priesthood. So some things are based on the wrong priesthood. That's why they cannot stand the test of time. They will move politically leadership. You are empowered by the wrong priesthood. That's why you cannot last. You cannot move. Hallelujah. So when you see there is a problem of brooding and coming down, look at the priesthood. What is kind of priesthood do I serve? What is kind of cover and bab my life? What is the protection? What is the guarantee of what I am doing? So this is what is lacking in the understanding of many people. So when you see people, priesthood is in the matter. It comes into the spirit. It's the matter of the heart. It enters into the spirit, into the heart of people. They are aligned inside or they are rebellious inside. So the people, it's their nature. They feel like doing it. They feel like doing it. You feel like quitting the job even nobody has sacked you. You feel like just walking out. You write a letter, you move. When I ask, where were you going to do? You go to your house, you start reading newspapers every day. There is no agenda, but you sacked. You sacked yourself. You fired yourself. Because there is something that was happening. You feel like you want a break, just like that. You want to leave your husband, you, you tell him, give me a break. You want a break. And marriage, there is no break. So you look for a break and you go out. Because you feel like that. You feel like going away. You feel like running. It is a force that is running in your heart. So, there are some, so many people who have tried. Things are fading away. They don't show their glory because in ironic priesthood, there's no glory. It's faded. They don't like to see it. They like to see those. So it is faded. It cannot be glorious. It cannot be everlasting. And these are the things that are, are making many men and women to struggle in the realm of the spirit. So Jesus was faithful. 